everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, Isaac. Name a better combination. Uh, ketchup and french fries? Okay, but you can't name another one. Um, Dijonais and french fries? Okay, but you can't name a, anything in French. You can't use french fries for every single one. It's cheating. JJ1Q6VPB. This is a BEA beautiful start. You know it to be true. We got great stats. We can fly. The only uh, downside right now is our HP. We could just get that uh, couple of spirit heart. Ooh, I thought you were not a real one. I thought you were an in incorporeal one. It's not the right use of incorporeal, but I thought it wouldn't hurt if you hit me. Let me. Ay, 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 okay. Slow down. You're starting a little pre pogged here. Gotta get yourself steady. Gotta get yourself on the level. And and don't don't throw uh, good runs after bad here. Don't throw good runs after bad. It and it is a good run. I mean, we started with the pact, the pact and the pony and the silver spoon. This is a, this is a great uh, starting combination, uh, especially with seven rate of fire. We are looking for HP. H HP is your your ideal setup here. Help, help me. Voo! Help me. Hurts, don't it? Sorry, every once in a while, maybe like three or four times a day lately, I just get stuck in a loop where I can only... Ooh. I get, like, I've got two things stuck in my head. The song Helpless from the show uh, Hamilton. And then all of the enemy death noises. From uh, Deadly Premonition. I'm down for the count and I'm snarfing in it. Is what I've always ooh, said. Um, yo, yo, okay, hold on. We're doing very well here. I, I would say after picking up, like if Nate Silver was predicting this run, um, 538 is strongly predicting a streak continuance here. There's no doubt about it, especially with that extra HP. Whatever this item room is, is ancillary in most circumstances but that's what a, what a weird floor you know what I mean it looks like a trocar from night trap trocar <laughs> oh no oh no that's that one straight off the dome piece all right the burning basement the second please my father was the burning basement I'm wait you know I how do you do that? Because I'm trying to think. I had, a, I had a physics teacher in high school. She was like at least 60 years old. And this is not, that's relevant. I'm not just trying to dunk on her, you know. If anything, you know, she she made it to 60. It's not necessarily uh, ab above average as far as I know. She's still alive, by the way. I'm kind of digging myself a hole here, I suppose. But um, she's a nice lady. She's a great teacher. But her name was Miss, you know, blank, but, you know, her real name instead of blank. I just don't want her to, you know, I don't want to invite this evil into her life. Um, but if you ever called her Mrs. Blank, she would be please. Mrs. Blank was my mother. I'm Miss Blank. And I'm like, you know, are you married? She's like, yeah. <laughs> By the way, kind of a forward question for a student to ask the teacher, especially with such a big age difference. But anyway, she was like, yeah. Like, you know, I never said this to her face, but I'm like, I'm sorry, but that explains why you're a teacher of physics and not of English, because you are Mrs. Blank, legally speaking. That's that's the way I choose. I mean, you can, I'll call you whatever you want to be called, don't get me wrong. And we're just going to take this for guppy purposes, which is going to be a little divisive, but uh, it is what it is. But at the same time, if, you, if you're talking from like a... Uh, you know, in the English language sense, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that you are indeed Mrs., not Miss. Why are you trying to flex? Come off it, bro. The Joker's awesome. Come off it, bro. The Trocar's awesome. Okay, we want HP. 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 Lovecraft. Next time. I, I still got... There's a lot of meat on this bone. This, this chicken wing is not even close to being... Uh, consumed yet. That's actually extremely helpful as well. I, I do want to do, of course I want to. I mean, look at the amount of money we got now. We almost got enough money to make something from our shop worthwhile. We will death card the gurglings. 
which is just a, a, a beautiful situation for us. Although, I'll, I will admit, I thought they would all die um, from the death. I bet if they weren't champions, they would have. Take advantage of your little proptosis setup here. Even more money. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it's... Oh, careful. Little surprising. What you got in here? What you got in here? Uh, okay, here's what I'm thinking. We got plays, okay? You can use that once. You got a sun card, but you also got a lot of just, you know, regular old money sitting around. If you give me HP, we, we can create a ton of money out of this, even though right now it looks like it's costing us shop access or, or access to a... Oh, that's so good. Access to an item from the shop, at least. Just keep keep punching ahead here. This is the kind of room that could uh, make a big difference for us. Now, I'm disappointed to see that we got IV bag instead of blood bag, but it is what it is. I mean, honestly, I think we play you for a bit longer. I still think we can get back to 15 cents, but I'm banking on you giving me something. Now, it's not what I wanted, but it is something. There, there's no denying there was something involved there. So we got up to 14 cents. I don't really want a sun card to get more money. So I'm gonna... You know what? We're gonna take a little chance on this one. Joker! <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, we should sun card. We'll hold this Joker card. It's, it's worth a lot. We'll sun card, like, right here. Dude, I just realized now... This was a very dangerous floor. I genuinely almost lost my, uh... I, I genuinely almost didn't go to the item room. I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, mistakes happen, but... Mostly I'm not afraid to admit it because mistakes didn't happen. They merely... Almost happened. Terrible dodge, we didn't get hit, but that, that doesn't change the principle. You gotta acknowledge, sometimes you, you play bad and get lucky, and sometimes you play, uh... Well and you get unlucky, you know? The, the trick is... Not reading too much into it in every circumstance, I suppose. Um, I'll take it. I'm not sure if it's what we want, but it's what we're it's what we're t every every time, dude. Every time. Uh, so here's here's my new play. Okay, uh, I think we get re rolls and try to buy two spirit hearts. Or even three spirit hearts? Shouldn't fish too hard. We gotta... Yeah, I'm gonna keep some bombs for the next floor. But they, I mean, I, I'm actually pretty pleased with the way this went down at the end of the day. Maybe not enough money for what I'm looking... Yeah, I, I think I'm happy with this. I, I genuinely do. And you know what? I am gonna let it ride. You gave me HP. You compromised a little bit, but you gave me HP. So I'm, I'm pleased with this. Um, I'm pleased with this. I think we could have done better, but I'm happy with how we did. And you know what? I Again, not everybody's a big fan of using the Joker card immediately, because you could just earn the deal yourself. I, I just don't think we want any of those. It's, it's nice to know that we don't want any of them. I wouldn't say it's doing the little things right. It depends, though, you know? Because people, they think they're like, well, you could have gotten a deal with the devil normally. It's true. Maybe, but imagine if that deal with the devil was so good that it saved us from taking hits on this floor Then it's probably worth using the Joker card even if we would have gotten a deal with the devil just to get it a little bit earlier But what if you did the deal that you got on a future floor was gonna be something something something? What if it was gonna be amazing? Yeah, what if it was trash? You know, that's the game we're playing here. You gotta you gotta figure out uh, you, you gotta make decisions with limited information you don't get to puzzle it out for you know four hours, like, you know, go on the game FAQs and try to figure out, like, what's the best way to make sure that when I get to the Golden Saucer, I go on a date with Tifa instead of Eris, you know? You just gotta... You gotta find it on the... on the go. Oh, that's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for. Hurts, don't it? Still trying to puzzle out, dude, how I feel about Deadly Premonition 2. I really feel like it's one of those games I'm gonna, like, leave a light on for. I've gone through such a complicated series of, uh, opinions about it. I mean, like, before I played it, I was like, hey, just because it's a cult classic, um, that's jank, doesn't mean technical issues are acceptable. 
And I, and I firmly still believe that. And yet, while playing it, I was like, you know what? These technical issues are not, uh, not acceptable, but at the same time, don't compromise my enjoyment at all. Now, where I think a lot of people got twisted is they were like, hey, the worse the game's technical issues are, the better it is. The more I enjoy it. I very much disagree with that, but... It's just such a... The, the game defies criticism, I think. I think it really... It, like, Deadly Premonition 1 and 2 just cement for me that I'm... Uh, you know, in, in terms of uh, game stories, I don't want to say I'm, I'm unique. But I'm I'm on the outsider side of things. You know what I mean? I'm much when when people are like, you know, I I cried 75 times during The Last of Us 2. I'm like I sleep. When people are like, you know, I I cry every time that song comes on. I'm like yeah, that hits me right in the feels, dude. Let's never say that again. It hits me right in the feels. Is, some, is someone chopping onions in here? We got a way out here. There we go. That's what I want out of a game story. I've realized I no longer care about a story being well told. I feel like a... I'd much rather a story have something unusual to say. That's That's kind of where I'm at. Which is ironic, because I also enjoy Marvel movies, which are, like, very well-told stories that are honestly kind of, you know, repetitive. <laughs> it's like the exact antithesis of, uh, of uh, what I'm looking for in a game. But Marvel movies are not my favorite movies. That's I like them. The way I, I really look at it, like, you know, a Marvel movie is like, you know, it's like going to McDonald's. If I go to McDonald's three times a year, I'm going to get the chicken nuggets. I'm going to enjoy it. And when the chicken nuggets go bam, 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 I'm going to be pogged up, you know? Might even bring a tear to my eye. But at the same time, you know what's annoying is when you go to, um, you know, McDonald's three times a year. And then whenever you talk about it, somebody goes, ugh, McDonald's. I haven't been to a McDonald's in 11 years. McDonald's is bereft of all food-based pleasure for me. I only eat steak tartare. And I'm like, I had steak tartare like two nights ago. I thought it was very interesting and thought-provoking. And they go, no, I only eat French steak tartare. And the Snyder Cut. Hold on, what do we got here? Uh, I, okay, okay, okay. I want to get the uh, Humbling Bundle. I wish I hadn't used two bombs for that, but... Suffice it to say, say it with me, it is what it is. It is what it is. This floor. I'm just are we on caves we're on caves one. So we if we get a deal with the devil, we know what the deal with the devil is. And it's not great. So we will okay uh, absolutely be looking don't blow up in my face look like you did to me sorry I don't even remember who that is who sings that that, that must be puddle of mud right can you take it all away like you did to me I just look I don't want to I've gotten I've, I've offended a lot of people recently by saying that uh, I mean, I've made a lot of jokes at three days Grace's expense. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to get into trouble if you're a stan for Puddle of Mud. I, I try to stay on the positive side of stan culture. I guess we will not be getting Humbling Bundle, huh? I'm like, did we even go to the item room on that? Yeah, we got the mind. Okay, we got the mind. I, then I'm not sweating it. Um... But I really, dude, I mean, and I say this as somebody who, who, you know, grew up in this generation of music. Man, oh man. The, the kind of rock music we got after Kurt Cobain died. Ten years of, of wasted... <laughs> of wasted radio space. Sorry, okay, I don't... Look, I'm just saying... When people talk about the, the best times for rock music, you know? 
I, I understand the idea that there's like some nostalgia glasses, right? But okay, there goes our bone heart, by the way, because I guess we clipped the wall and lost uh, the pony's invincibility. But you know, like the you know blues from the 30s, you know. And then when you started to get into rock and roll in the 1950s, a lot of people got love for that. And then. Um, of course, you know, the 1960s is, you know, maybe a little bit more poppy, but, I mean, it's hard to categorize the Beatles as exclusively pop because they have a lot of, um, I mean, some of those songs go hard, honestly. Like, Helter Skelter goes hard, dude. For Especially for a, a mainstream band of the 1960s where, you know, prior to the Beatles, every number one hit was like, Listen to what the flower people say. Ah, that's from Spinal Tap, but, you know, you get the idea. Um... But then the 70s, I mean, come on, then you're getting into some really inventive stuff, you know, you got The Who, you got Steely Dan, you got it all. You got the talking heads, you got... And then the 80s even, you know, you, some people are into that era, the hair metal, the, uh, the glam rock, of course, from the late 70s and the 80s as well. It's great stuff, nobody's like, oh, my favorite era for rock music was, um... The year, uh... 1999. Everything was popping off. It was the summer of love, baby. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people are like, I miss that era. I know people miss the era just after that because it's considered like one of the... Uh, one of the golden ages for uh, pop punk, you know? And I, was, I listened to, you know, some, some, some 41, some Treble Chargers, some SR-71, some New Found Glory, a little bit of Yellow Card, a little bit of, you know, Fallout Boy as a teenager, but I was already beginning very much my, uh, you know, snobby phase at that point as well, so, um, I don't have the same kind of nostalgia, but I got nothing against it, but nobody's like, oh man, take me back to the, take me back to the rock and roll days of the year 2001. That's, that's my personal belief, at least. If, if you disagree, I'd love to hear it. And it, by the way, I, I'm talking about mainstream rock and roll. You know, you don't get to be like, uh, oh, but what about, um, and you will know us by the trail of our dead source tags and codes. That's a good one from 2001. Yeah, did, you, did it play on uh, 106.3, you know, Rock of the City? I don't think so. The electric guitars were too electric. It scared off advertisers. Okay, we need a damage upgrade here, please. Please. That is not a damage upgrade. We'll be moving on. Run Depths 1, right? Dank Depths 1. I am a little, uh... Nervous on this one. Our, our stats... I, I mean, honestly, it's my fault. I didn't take this last time, but I did take it this time. Experimental treatment kind of screwed us a little bit. We're still in a super good spot, but this is really like... I would like to be done the resource gathering phase of this run. I would like to get onto the let's pog till the break of dawn, you know? Because this one is... it. Our odds of winning have decayed. We got plenty of time, but they have decayed drastically. Oh my lanta, dude. We're gonna blow that up. We just want to make sure. Um, just want to make sure we can actually exit because this is a great opportunity to get some incredible uh, tarot card action, and uh, you know, just getting the demon heart out of it was pretty sick. Well worth the price of admission. It's a tears up. No, it's a HP up, which is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think. It, I, 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 I still think it's worth it. I still think that was a good pick. I mean, we can't even reroll it anyway, right? So. N nothing to worry about. We'll just consider that positive. Oh, hey. Easy there. Okay. I do want to fight this miniature boss. Let, let's focus on the positives instead of the potential negatives here, okay? What do we love about this run? Flying. Uh, three dollar bill it has hurt us a little bit, but is also really compensating for our lack of damage. Um, good amount of spirit hearts now, and the big one is the mind. Like the mind is a is a super great item for us to have. Also got a lot of money, so you know by by highlighting the strengths of this run, we also have one guppy item. Don't forget about that. 
But by highlighting the strengths of this run, we also have the ability to see where maybe we can put on some pressure. We got a lot of HP, that means our deal with the devil, we should probably be a little bit more open to middling deals that improve us uh, slightly, because we could really use the improvement and we got the HP to spare. We got a lot of money, we should put a, a, a little bit more emphasis on making sure that we go to the shop, or at least, you know, keeping it in the back of our mind that that's, that's a positive thing. One guppy item means, you know, red chests and uh, sacrifice rooms, or uh, curse rooms are a little bit more advantageous than they might typically be considered for us. That's fine. I can live with that. And then the other thing is just uh, maintaining your own sanity. Because I, I know th to thine own self be true, right? And mine own self, or thine own self? No, thine is you, right? Thou'st own self is impatient. <laughs> Starts to get a little... Uh, Stir crazy the longer a run goes on. That was a really good play there. I'm, I'm happy with myself. Come on, man. Come on, Jack. So we just, you know, part of it is just keeping yourself on the level. But this will be a great time to not fight greed. That's a good item. I'm happy to see that. This is a good item. I'm happy to see it. That's not a good card, but I'm not happy to see it. But you know what? We are going to donate... I don't want to donate too much, but maybe we'll go down to 20 cents. 19. Sorry, I'm a hypocrite. There we go. Now we're up to 24. How about that? It's a good trinket. Not a great trinket. So I, this is a big one for us. I would say this is like, not deal with the devil or bus territory. But definitely, we'd like to start moving things forward. We're not in a train wreck, but this is legitimately good train wreck territory that was so fast i got scared that i did something wrong um so we know that and it's an unfortunate situation we know we're gonna get little gish little gish not bad but one of those times that you don't really need an item like that <laughs> It's like when you're already, uh, you know, you, here's the thing. When I'm at a restaurant, let, let's get into some banter, okay? If I'm at a restaurant with free refills, it, it can be a problem for me. I'm not one of those guys who seeks to maximize the dollar cost value of uh, of my free refills, you know? I don't, I'm not like, oh, I paid a buck for this soda. I got to get four liters of, you know, Coke Zero out of it. I think that's... I mean, it's just a very weird energy emanating off of that. Um, however, the problem for me is more like... If there is a glass of liquid in front of me... I'm not like a sipper, you know? I'm a gulper. And I, I know that there's dozens of us out there. It's not rare. I am physically capable of sipping on a beverage. But, like, for whatever reason, my... my I won't, let's kind of not call it natural, because I'm sure it's from, like, you know... The way that either, you know, my parents drink beverages or maybe the way that I drink beverages as a kid and I just never, like, worried about it. But, you know, if, if I have, like, a full glass of water in front of me, I don't drink half of it and then, like, you know, take little sips out of the rest. I just chug the whole thing down or, like, uh, you know, I'll chug half and then chug half, you know, two minutes later. So, like, if I'm at, uh, it's really just out of boredom, you know, more so than any, okay, we do want this. Uh, more more out of boredom than anything else a lot of the time. Like if I'm at a restaurant, uh, and like let's say I got a a fountain beverage, and they do table service, right? So they sometimes they come around and go like, "Do you want another Coke Zero? Refills are free." And I go, "Sure." And then they come around again, and they go, "Do you want?" Another Coke Zero? And I go, no, I'm fine. And then they go, are you sure? It's free. And I go, I'm fine. And then they go, we'll just get you one. Like, they're so committed to customer service. They don't they don't realize. Like, I, I'm i not getting, I can't believe I used the second key there. I, I think we're going to stick with the pony. Honestly, even though it might seem like it's not worth it. It doesn't really generate that much speed for us anymore. Because we're already at a good speed level. And it doesn't... Uh, Help, help, help me. Um, you know, it, we, maybe we, Book of the Dead would be worth something, right? But I am, uh, I'm going to keep it because I think it gives us a defensive edge 
that, that could be important as the game goes on. It might not be important now, but as the game goes on. Although now I'm thinking, I'm like, wh why would you ever not take Book of Revelations out of these if you had the choice? Yeah, n now that I'm thinking about it for more than two seconds, because I'm not thinking about fountain beverages, I feel like that doesn't hold up to the kind of scrutiny I was hoping it would. But anyway, sometimes, you know... I admit that it's on me. You just gotta exercise, like, really the slightest degree of self-control. But sometimes I'm at these restaurants, I've consumed, like, a liter and a half of soda over the... Well, like, a, I don't want to make it sound like it's that much better. But a liter and a half of diet soda over the course of, like, a 45-minute meal. And then, you know, as soon as we leave, I'm like, ah, I hope I don't have to go to the bathroom anytime soon. And then, of course, because that's the way the body works, it's like, hey, you gotta go to the bathroom. And I'm like, why'd you give me so much soda? And they're like, why'd you st why didn't you just stop drinking it? And I'm like, because it was in front of me. <laughs> I did just walk over spikes because I'm not used to not flying. But uh, that's okay. We're, we're going to get there. I think Book of Revelations was definitely what we needed. Like, if you ever find yourself needing to defeat me in battle, just keep, like, a huge endless reservoir of water and then keep refilling my glass. I will not refill my glass when I've had enough, but if you refill my glass and put it in front of me, I'm gonna drink it, dude. It's like, uh... It's like, we, you know, I'm trying to think of, uh... Like an, an animal example. Like, you ever have a cat, like, when you pet it on its butt, it starts to go a little bit insane? I'm hearing from my editor that that is all cats right now, apparently that is all cats. Um, that's like what it is, dude. I get, there's one simple trick to defeat me in battle. A bottomless glass of water. That's, that's my version of purgatory. Infinite access, uh, to a life-giving molecular compound. But only in liquid form. Not in pog form. Okay, so I am not going to open these. We need to save one key. I am going... No, I'm not going to open one of these. We probably could, but let's not invite that potential evil into our lives. If we fight greed, we still want to be able to open our item room. I'm telling you, dude, this one probably looks pretty good. But it's actually very dangerous. Or at least it has the potential to become very dangerous. It might not be there quite yet. But it definitely has the potential. Dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. Oh, what the heck? Am, what did I step on, dude? What am I stepping on? It's a demon judgment because we got tarot cloth. That's what you're stepping on, dummy. <laughs> okay, that, that got me a little twisted up. Please don't ricochet me low. Yo, that's... Okay, hold on. We, we gotta be smarter, especially because we just made a very dumb play right there. Come through here, get your charge, then when you get your key down here, you'll get a full charge out of it. The bean, huh? How about that? Now, we could strength. Um, we, we do want... Oh, no! I'm so stupid, dude! I wanted to play the demon judgment, but I was like, I really want the key, because we're low on keys. So I put a bomb down, and then I was like, I'll just hit it out of the way, and then I hit it into the way and also took damage. It's like watching a video of somebody falling up an escalator. You know, there's so many opportunities to not be embarrassed, and yet this is what we ended up choosing. How about that? Two of diamonds. It's, it's a very nice get. It's a very nice get. Um, we'll buy Spider Mod because we can definitely afford it. This is this is heavy donation territory for sure. Our donation machine has been living nicely for a bit here. No doubt about that. No. You know what? I, I was like, dude, I, I don't know. I'm like off in this Isaac episode. <laughs> I was like, let's go into the room and then we can kick the bomb to possibly access the secret room. Then I'm like, wait a minute. This is the boss fight you can't get out of. You've got to get yourself together. You got yourself stuck in a boss fight that you can't get out of it. Remember that? U2? U2's comeback in 2001? All that you can't leave behind? We, we've been... Freaking getting destroyed here, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I would like to see a Devil Deal with no Krampus and two Jokers, please. And maybe one Bourbon, one Scotch, and one beer. We've already been to our deal with the Devil. <laughs> this is scary, dude! It was rotten, baby. That's a good item, don't get me wrong. Alright, 13 bombs. Just gonna be straight up with you. There's gonna be rooms we're not gonna want to do. That is one of them. This is not. This is a great room. We'll peep our secret room. Lots of items in there. Could turn the tide of battle just a little bit. We are gonna get an orbital here as well. Uh, for, well, we're gonna get an orbital or we're gonna get white pony. I will, con I will continue to open because I think I need the help right now as opposed to later. I'm gonna save one key. But I, I, I still think that was the right play. Um, I wouldn't take White Pony. Book of Revelations is, is worth an awful lot. So what, what's the game plan here? What are we rooting for? What are we shooting for? And what are we boot scooting boogieing for? Well, a little redemption is the big thing. Like, for me, I think a win is very likely just because Book of Revelations is that powerful. And Rotten Baby's a nice helper. On top of Rotten Baby being a nice helper, you know... $3 bill, if you give it the patience it requires, definitely has the ability to get you where you need to go. Even if you do have to wait a while for it. Um, not to mention, Shielded Tears is actually a really good defensive item. Although it will also make bosses pretty annoying. So in terms of like my narrative for this episode, I would just love to... Uh, no longer uh, be embarrassed by some of the plays I make. So if we can get some redemption just by being solid through the rest of the run, that's something for me. That's something for me. That would be enough. And then secondarily, if we're talking about stuff that's kind of like outside of the bounds of our control, then for me personally, we already fulfilled that end of the bargain because getting an orbital here allows me to play my style of game uh, as long as I'm... Not throwing a bunch of HP away for no reason. We're happy, and we did get a deal with the devil, so I'm happier. It's not Krampus. I definitely think we like Lord of the Pit here. Um, now we, we got the best of both worlds, Hannah Montana style. Okay, get me out of here. So I am... Rest assured, I understand the dangers. Never tell me the odds, though. We're going to be doing a lot of orbital-based gameplay here. And if they hate, then let them hate and watch the damage pile up. Ooh, uh, <laughs> that was the worst because we didn't even get out of uh, the room with the bomb we placed. It's okay. I, I, I really think we're totally fine. Which is really just a testament to the value of uh, an item that gives you spirit hearts at your leisure. Sorry, at your leisure. Thinking of becoming one of those guys. The guys who say leisure instead of leisure. You're thinking of becoming British? Yes. <laughs> We're primed for another uh, another wave of uh, the British invasion, right? There was a British invasion in the 60s with the Beatles. There was a British invasion in the 90s with the Spice Girls. It was when you got the era that everybody was like, you know, well, not everybody, but everybody had one friend that was like, I don't watch Friends. I watch foreign shows like Coupling. Now we got another British invasion that's got a... You know, I don't know what it's gonna be. But it's 2020. It's time for the British invasion of 2020. I just hope this doesn't prove to be bizarrely ironic in case they actually invade my country. <laughs> Ooh, little did he know. People, historians watching this in, in 50 years. How did he know? Dude, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so here, here's my here's my promise to you. We needed a damage upgrade, so we took it. We are going to not be aggressive with our um, orbitals for the time being. Because we need to go a few rooms, well, like a few charges minimum. So I, I do think this was the right idea. We need to get a few charges without taking damage. Is what I, that, that's how that sentence was gonna finish. But... Um, 
So I think we we made the right decision because we desperately needed a damage upgrade, if not if for no other reason than my own sanity. Um, not to mention my own combs, but I don't think um, it's going to be too, too bad here. We, this is ruining invincibility, but I think that it's for a good cause. Make sure you're sending in a uh, little Bumbo or whatever the heck his name is. This is Bumbo Jr.? It's a little Gertie, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, come on, Gertie, Bumbo, Monstro, they're all just weird little lumps. Cute little lumps, but weird little lumps. Let me out. Alright, I, I feel very vindicated in my use of the strength card. I do worry slightly about um, the, the chest. Our luck stat should lead to a few extra items at our disposal. <coughs> and I'm not talking about garbage. Sorry, I got... I, oh, uh, I got that early morning dry throat. Even though it was my second run of the day, I got that early morning dry throat. Alright. Maybe. Sure. No. Yes. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big one. So I'm actually going to do one extra room here. And this is how you know I'm, like, dialed in today. I got hit. Tell me again how dialed you are. This is how you know I'm dialed, though, because this secret room is of uh, potential interest. You are not going to be worth my time, but you know what? You are an easy enemy to kill, and then uh, thus get another... Deal or a uh, book of revelations charge here. So we're just gonna. I mean, the way we're supposed to do this is the way we're doing it right now. Oh, we're so lucky to have not been hit. Just make sure you try to kill Gluttony last. It's gonna be close because Rotten Baby has zeroed in on the on the non gluttonous enemy. But there you go. Okay, I, I think just doing things. This was a run where we had to do the little things right at a bare minimum level, and we've at least hit that. But I do, I will admit that within me, there was a loss on this one. And I didn't think that it was possible, given how well it started. I mean, Nate Silver predicted the victory, so... You know, I, I had 100% confidence in the st statistical models, because I don't understand probability. Now, we'll be moving on here. Um, it, I would say now, it's, we're pretty much at unkillable status. And that's not hubris, like... I mean, five minutes ago, I was like, we could lose. Hey, like, 50 seconds ago, I was like, we could lose. We will not lose now. And in fact, we're going to finish the run, I think, in, in trademark me fashion. By uh, using our orbital way too much, and then aggravating people who are like, I wish he would use his orbital less, because he takes so much preventable damage. Yeah, well, I wish you weren't right, but you are. So we all gotta deal with that in our own way, okay? Oh, and dude, is this this is the Henrik Sedin win, right? <laughs> it's 33 wins in a row. Oh, baby. Send it. you love to see it. I have it on good authority. Things you love to see just came out, and it was on it. Uh, what is it? It's it. No, Mike. I mean, what is it, dude? You've, you've been... We've been going through conversational circles for ten years here. What's it? It's it. You, but what is it, dude? What is it? It's it. Mike, you can't just keep repeating it's it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Henrik Sedin, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.